Hello everyone, uh, I think I finally cracked and uh, lost my mind, or uh, if you prefer less political correct uh, assessment, uh, I've gone full retard, um, just picked this up at Best Buy, this is a, uh, yeah, you're looking at it correctly, it's upside down, this is the uh, HP NV17 3t something like that it's basically a um, 17 inch multi-touch laptop but it happens to be that the multi-touch is a, a MPP controller so it's a uh, it's intrigue um, I always been a sort of a size whore when it comes to the drawing on these things and uh, well, 17 is better than 15. Uh, for comparison, you got the Dell um, uh, Inspiron 7568 that I bought a couple of years ago. That's a 15.6 inch. And I don't know if you can see the difference. It's quite a lot bigger, obviously. Uh, almost two inches bigger diagonal. Uh, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it, in practice it feels uh, even more expansive. I mean, um, when I first started using this thing, the 15.6 inch Dell, uh, which obviously <laughs> um, is a proper Yoga uh, 360 hinge, I usually use it flat, but anyways, uh, when I started using it, I was like, ah, oh, this feels really big and I feel great, uh, and uh, uh, so, uh, you know, it's so much better than 12 inch. But even that, uh, eventually I got used to and uh, felt cramped compared to something like 22 inch Cintiq, right? So, um, I sort of wanted a 17 inch version, but nobody's making a 17 inch yoga, right? And, and also I was under the false, I guess, false uh, assumption that the, that Wacom and, um, and uh, Entrick doesn't make a 17 inch uh, panel. Uh, no, they do. I'm wrong. Uh, MPP has become such a ubiquitous uh, touch panel standard that even though this thing is not advertised as a pen device at all, it you know it's pen capable because it's using MPP panel. All right, great. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's 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 a, just a regular laptop, right? The hinge doesn't go beyond this, um, beyond this at all. So you gotta do something stupid like this. Um, I'm actually using my Cintiq Twenty One UX as a uh, support, so that it doesn't like tip over. Uh, it kind of worked out to be the best sort of angle the ideal angle at the most upright position uh, to support this 17 inch ridiculous behemoth by the way this this is the new version they just put out I think maybe this week which means it's got the new Intel 8550U uh, quad core i7 right this is a 7th gen uh, 7500U i7 so it's a nice little uh, differentiation. Wait, is it 7500 or 6500? It might be 6500. I think this is uh, Skylake, like KB Lake. But you know, still, it's the similar clock speed, except that's dual core. It's quad core. Hey, let's test it out. So um, this is the Bamboo Ink. Uh, I'm going to use it in MPP mode on the HP here. I have a uh, Clip Studio loaded in both right now. Um, here is the Bamboo Smart that I'm going to use, uh, which is AES only, obviously. That I'm going to use with the the uh, Inspiron 7568, and also in Clip Studio. Um, this is a 5,000 by 3,000 canvas. Uh, I have the, the chalk that I modified in certain couple ways. 
like a size um, expression and you can see that it's a thousand pixels wide on a 5,000 by 3,000 canvas here we go big circle okay let's try to remember that that sort of uh, how long that took let me, let me try it again big circle all right now this is similar setting uh, same setting actually so uh, oh nope it's not let's crank it up to oops am I cranking yeah right thousand chalk five thousand by three thousand canvas uh, both machines are 1080p so that's uh, easy to compare big circle 1 1000, 2 1000 1 1000, 2 1000 oh, what, 2 seconds maybe? okay uh, this one is 1 1000, 2 1000 three, 3 seconds maybe? I don't know uh oh, kinda locked up so you can definitely see that it, it takes longer, right? Um, than this guy to make that big circle with thousand pixel chalk brush. So there is definitely a, you know, uh, even though it's um, the clock speed are the same, you know, there's twice the cores, and obviously this program is multi-core aware for the brushes, so it's uh, performing faster for sure but you know that's not the only reason I bought it it's it's really the size it's it's 7.10.3 and you're asking you know you got a Cintiq why the hell would you buy that because uh, I you know I usually uh, mate the Cintiq to my Viazi canvas which is even more powerful than this guy by you know like maybe 10 20 percent this is gonna have 45 watt quad core i7. This is the, the new 20 watt uh, i7 quad core. So, but the but the reason for me is uh, that uh, I'm gonna have to, have to confess. I, I always thought that the the pen experience with the EMR on the Cintiq was as best you can get. Uh, far as how it feels and everything, I, I don't think that's no longer true for me. I mean, this is all personal and uh, and, and it, it differs from people to people in their experience. But I prefer uh, how the pen feels. Let me break that to more reasonable size. So, you know, I use a Cintiq 22. HD touch at work with my Viasi canvas and I, I think this feels better for me I, I think you know the and the difference really comes down to that the Cintiq I have to use with the WinTab driver um, to get all the functionality working this obviously is MPP so there there is isn't. There's some kind of WinTab driver, but I'm I'm not gonna bother to chase it down because you know there isn't really no point um, because you know Clip Studio uses a Microsoft driver, and I, I just like how Microsoft drivers uh, makes the brushes feel better. It just I don't know. It just responds better. The the thickness, the thin, the the feel. It just feels better. Um, Maybe I'm just more used to it now, or I don't know. I, but I prefer it. So, and also this this is a 21 uh, UX, which means there's no touch. And I just you know it, it's just pain in the ass to use keyboard when I can use touch for you know zooming in and out and stuff. So that's another aspect of it. And um, so I decided that hey, you know you got two weeks to try it out from Best Buy. Why don't I just Take it home and and see if this upside down format is you know doable, usable, and you know this machine uh, you know comes with a 
the NVIDIA um, 150MX, so that's like a 1030, GTX 1030-ish. It's got 4 gigs of uh, DDR5, I believe, at 64-bit. So it's it's not a really, you know, super-duper NVIDIA chip, but it's actually way better than the, you know, built-in Intel one. So there's that aspect. So for, for this machine as it configured, it's a pretty freaking good, um, you know, 2D machine, 2D workstation. So it's got quad-core, nice large 17-inch. It's only 1080p, but... But then again, the 22 HD I use at work is also 1080p, and that's 22 inches. And who, you know, it doesn't really matter. Who cares? This is perfectly great size for the resolution. And so, and you know, th this machine has two sodium slots. I can, I can, I can go up to 32 uh, gigs of RAM. Whereas the Vio Z Canvas, it's, it's soldered on. It's only 16 gigs. So you know, this this has a little more flexibility to me you know I wish I mean look this this machine always stays home I don't take it anywhere it's 15.6 inch so portability doesn't really matter right so and also uh, the ups yeah it's upside down but it's gonna stay like this right I mean the keyboard yeah it, it's hard to use the keyboard upside down but you know I can use uh, anti micro here to do um, shortcuts and stuff, right? So uh, that that that's you know, I can take care of some of the problem that way. And obviously, I can do a Bluetooth keyboard uh, if, if I need to type. So maybe I can make this work. I don't know. Um, although I'm not gonna probably keep this particular model from Best Buy, which I, it's an eleven hundred dollar model. Uh, it's, it's got everything I think that I need uh, except for the fact that it's got a spinning platter hard drive uh, which could be okay I could swap it for SSD but uh, I found out that it only has the SATA 2.5 connector uh, it doesn't have an M2 so I think I, if, 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 if I'm going to test this out for the week and the two weeks that I um, the uh, again borrow from Best Buy basically without resigning fee, and if I do like it, like I suspect, then I probably uh, order the 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 PCIe Plus uh, spinning platter version. I think that's like thirteen hundred dollars at Amazon. So it's it's a little more expensive, but I think it's worth it because it gives you PCIe M2 slot on top of everything else. And you know, for something this big, uh, I think it really should have two storage slots, right? So it's yeah, this is kind of crazy, but not really crazy, I think. You know, um, if you're gonna put up with this, which is a big giant thing at home, you know, and when I draw, I usually put it in yoga. Uh, I lay it flat. So the keyboard is away from me, and it's you know it's it's kind of the same difference I think, um, even though this just looks retarded. Uh, I'm gonna think of the title of this video. Uh, I've gone full retard on uh, pen laptops. Yeah. So yeah, uh, I think it, it's a somewhat compelling sort of. Um, scenario now that you know Intel has graced us with quad core uh, ULV processors um, just because you know they're so generous they could have done this like two years ago but those assholes uh, didn't feel the need till uh, AMD was threatening everybody with the Ryzen uh, mobile processor right that's probably the only reason they did it now but nevertheless I take it uh, you know, it, it's so thir let's say thirteen hundred dollars for you know fifteen hundred the tax or whatever for a quad core i seven great workstation uh, with with a dedicated GPU so you can do GPU acceleration for Photoshop and whatnot uh, plus PCIe M two slot 
and a SATA 2.5 slot. You know, that's that's pretty darn good little home workstation thingy, right? Um, I, unless you need to do like hardcore 3D content creation, this is pretty freaking good, I think, as far as specs go. I think I think you can um, be quite happy. I think I can get, be quite happy uh, using this to do my work at home if when I'm doing freelance instead of uh, using my Vioz canvas on the Cintiq here because um, you know lacking touch is really pain in the ass these days in my opinion especially with Clip Studio and uh, I just don't like the WinTabs feel as much anymore compared to Microsoft uh, Pen API yeah, call me crazy but it, it just I think this feels better to me now I don't know. Maybe it's how Clip Studio is coded. I don't know, but uh, I like this experience. And so far, the NV17 uh, has way better palm rejection than the Inspiron 7568 here with palm rejection. I think that's maybe. AES versus MPP. MPP I think has a better palm rejection. I think AES is a little immature in that regard. Um, but now with the bamboo ink, you can use Wacom's, uh, you know, pressure sensor, same set pressure sensor as an AES pens, right? On MPP, and even though you don't, you won't have uh, the Wacom control panel for like the button presses or whatnot. You can get, you know, these uh, cheap S five dollar uh, Bluetooth controllers, and you can supplement that, you know, feature with more buttons, you know, because you know, it, 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 with Wacom, you get, you know, two barrel buttons to do whatever you need to do, but that's it. Whereas if you use this, you get way more buttons, way more fun uh, functionality. Hey. Um, let me know if you think this is fucking crazy. <laughs> it does feel a little retarded, or, but I think I'm gonna try it out for a while, and and it, this might become permanent uh, situation for me. We'll see. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to stay tuned. Bye.